Hello everyone, in the last video I talked about DNS confirmation and in that I showed you the SMTP test here and the score I received was 10 by 10. So in this video I will talk about IP. Regarding rotation, how does it work and we will also test it and when we bought VPS we took an additional IP so here I come to VPS here this is my main IP. That's it look here you can see it. In VPS, when you come here, this is your main IP, and before that, I adopt a terminal here, open, and when you run a command, IP it is. Here, it will show you that currently you have only one IP on your VPS, so. Additional, first of all, you have to add that IP to the server. After adding it, you will have to add your IP address in the configuration file of PowerMTA, so. First of all, I come here, I go to End IP Management. Then this IP here is the main IP, which is already this is the IP of the VPS. And this IP is your additional IP. Okay, so first of all, you have to add it to the server. When you run the IP command, only this IP is being shown. So the simplest way is to add it. What you have to do is that you come to Vesta CP and click on the IP here. This is the one by default. Now what you have to do is just address. And after that it is saying that you enter your net mask. Okay, so the net. Click on add, here I do it, double click again, I go to the IP. So, add both the IPs here, this one is the additional one, it has been added here, when? have 10 IPs, then the process is the same. Come here, just click on the add IP address. You can add multiple IP addresses. You can add the IP here, what you have to do after adding it to the server, I. Come here and I open this file from here and. After opening the file, I go to etc, etc inside the PMTA folder. After going inside the PMTA folder, what you have to do is. Edit the config file. After opening the config file, what you have to do is look here. This is the first main IP. I have inserted it here. So same to the same as it is. Copy this and one here also do this copy and which is the new IP and add it here which was an additional one or if you have multiple 102 IPs then you. Me no, you can just remove it and here can. You add G0, here you can also write like this, SMTP in this liner, okay, then. Whatever IP you have, it will take it here, if you don't want to do that. You. And after that what you have to do is to scroll down and look here. It is written in the comment here, virtual MTA, begin, end, end, virtual MTA. What is the code in between this? What to do with it? You have to copy it and one time you have to paste it. So look here, this is the first one. Look in it, VMTA1 is written. So in VMTA1, your the default IP is here, okay, and the one. You copied and pasted it here, write VMTA2, and here you put the second IP, okay, so I copy it here, and I have given the second. IP here, I have pasted it, okay, after that I have to scroll down and. Here again, this is the PMTA bridge, here what you have to do is on the page, light. This is only VMTA and it is added inside the bridge. You have added another VMTA to here. 
So what to do now is to copy paste it and add another. The empty data here, then the work of CONF file. Is completed here, but let me explain a little. What is a DEH here, like the first one? It was created by default here, like you have five additional IP now, then what you? You have to do this five times, copy paste it here, it is okay. The name of the first here is VMTA, and the name of the second one is VMTA2. Like this, you have three, if you have four, then. VMTA3456, like this, you enter its data VMTA and the default IP. A VPS is your first additional IP in VMTA2. In VMTA3, whatever is your IP, do this and then enter it. Inside the PMTA bridge, all the VMTAs you create, add them here. That's the only work. Now I save all this stuff. From here, and this is the additional IP, you can also save it in the DNS of the domain. If you have to add it, I have done it before because it takes time to get indexed, so. Let me show you what I did. So this IP is 87, so what I did, I. I made it a record after that I made one, here. Was the SPF record, like I copy it here, here I show you. My SPF record, it was like this earlier. Okay, then what happens that if you have got another additional IP, then what do you do? Copy it, hit a space, and paste it on this page, and in this one, you. Have to enter the second IP. Okay, like I copy this end. Here, this is the SPF record of both the IPs. Suppose you have three or four IPs, then by using the same procedure, you can create their SPF here. So I have done something similar here. I have put this in the DNS of the domain and AND. Already because by the time I show it to you, this is the index which will happen. Okay, so I have put this here, so you have to add these two things in it. Will work. So, like this BMTA here. Then you put D. If you want to make a second, then you can put S here. If you want to erase it, then you can put M here. So, like this rotation work, how will it happen then? If you send 400 mails in one hour, say 300, then what will happen? That all the mails will go to you from that first IP if you send. 500 mails from 400 in a single hour, then what will happen? It will happen that 400 mails will go from this IP and then further mails will go from the next IP because it's limit will be executed from here and will be completed after that it will automatically rotate to the next IP. So such IP rotation is useful in this. So what do I do now just? To show you, here I put one limit for it, I. Limit of VMTA and key of this first one is the same, so as soon as the limit of one is executed, it will be completed. This second page will send it automatically, then the second mail will go from this IP I. Do this, save it from here and come here, what do I do? PMTA and restart it. It will happen because of the config file of my PowerMTA. I have made changes in it, so I do the service PMTA. Restart, I did this here in the...
I have pressed it here, so here the first mail has been sent. I send another mail from here. And this also the mail has been sent here, now I come here and I. Go to this and here I. Refresh it so both my mails have come here, look, zero second. Zero minute and zero minute. This is the first mail, I click on the three dot here. And click on original and this is the second one, I also. Click on original and look here, this is the first mail which is it has come from the IP of 158. And this is the second mail which has come here from the IP of 87 because of the limitation. That we had here, we had set one per hour, one per hour, because one hour. When he sent the first mail, it went from this IP. But when he sent the second mail, the limit of one hour for this IP was reached. He Practically here, okay? Yes, here I have shown you the DNS and If you want to enter the reverse DNS, then you can enter the reverse DNS of both of them. PDA record here, just click on edit. Add your domain name here. So in this video, we have covered all this about IP rotation in the next video, we will talk about your incoming mail.